Hello, welcome back. Thanks for tuning in. Some subscribers asked me, how about your filter system? So that's when, that's what we're gonna look at today. We all know that from the gasifiers, gas is hot, so it needs to be cooled. There's different methods for that, it's like fuel preheating and air preheating. And then the last heat rejection, as much as possible, the more cold it is, the better. But then the thing is, then we need to get rid of the moisture. What I use, I found that works really well for the first filter stage, is a mist eliminator. It's made from PVC. Cap, T piece, pipe, another uh, reduction piece, and another T piece. Although this upper part could also be the same diameter as the under part. Bigger diameter has a lower flow resistance. So when the gas is co coming in on the top in, the, in, in, in this thing, and it goes through these little nets. This is waste material from um, mosquito nets. And then it gets a whole bunch of rings with all cut pieces. So it's deflected a few times. And that makes most of the moisture uh, compacting into droplets and being collected in the bottom. This thing captures more liquid than the electrostatic precipitator. But still, after the mist eliminator, it it could be a little bit more. So that's why we use a charcoal filter. Charcoal is particularly helpful because it can be thrown back in the gasifier when saturated with tar. You can't do that with wood chips because you end up with too much tar in the fuel for uh, getting a blue flame and that's what we all want so that consists of a bucket with pvc oh i stole this bucket from my girlfriend by, by the way don't don't tell her please then we have this grate then we have another mosquito net stuff we put it in here throw it full with car char charcoal then another mosquito net, a cloth, another mosquito net, and a separator, another grate. So the cloth is not sucked to the lid. What happens to the cloth after 50 hours of running? It becomes saturated with tar, it's a little stiff now. And we can throw it away or burn it. You know, it's saturated with fuel, it burns pretty good. But hey, after about 50 hours, a new cloth is required and the charcoal needs to be dried. I sometimes dry it upon my, above my uh, solar fuel dryer as a second stage. Because it has some moisture capturing capability still. This is the output. Oh no, wait a second. It's, it's hell out. But it's around 50% in the, during the day and around 70% during the night. So it works pretty good. So first was the mist eliminator to capture most, most of the water. Then we have the charcoal filter to dry it up a bit and absorbs a little bit more. And then we got to the fine filter which is electrostatic in nature it also consists of rod with this time not rings but star washers so every 10 centimeter now I had more but it doesn't make a difference only the first as you can see the first three getting dirty and the rest is uh, doesn't do anything but that means that's good because then when it clocks up the next one and the next one so the more you have the more runtime or the more tar you can get 
But the more tar you, the less tar you make with the gasifier, the less tar you need to filter out, of course. Then it has another T piece in the cap. Then it goes to a 75 millimeter pipe. Another reduction to another T piece. And from this thing, the inlet is on the bottom and the outlet is on the top. And then the fluids will drip down. This captures about one fifth or so, one sixth of the mistress uh, eliminators. A bunch of those things in, in a row could also be a thing if you don't want to bother with electricity. In here is a 10 kilovolt, I can open it up, air purifier circuit. It comes pre-packed from AliExpress, 16 euros I believe. Works on 12 volts and it's uh, adjustable. Although 10 kilovolts so seems sounds low, it's more than you need with this thing. About the actual cleaning pipe, it's made from a 64 millimeter steel pipe, which can be inserted in the PVC pipe. And it hangs on these little ears here. And there's a screw here where you hang the positive wire of the electrostatic generator. So you can get this thing out easily, clean it easily whenever you stop using the machine because then it's still warm. There's still some solvents in the tar in the the water tar emulsion like here I use this rod every time I stop it to clean it out it's two metal discs on a threaded rod with a leather ring in between they're squeezed I throw for cloth and as you can see you, do, you pull it through the pipe and it takes out most of the stuff although after 50 hours of runtime you need to burn it out like we did with that thing then it's clean again oh yeah one moment for the best results cleaning the burned out electrostatic potato pipe is using a small diameter chimney cleaner on the screwdriver then you're done within a minute or so with cleaning this thing so let's put it all back together and see what it does one little detail about packing the charcoal filter you have this mosquito net cloth and another one and then the iron wire is is inside uh, squeezing it outward so there's a little tension in there just wanted to show you that all right let's check it out start to get the fire insert the glow plug and it takes then a few seconds to Ignite the charcoal for just a little bit after you're gonna blow it with air. Let's see. This one connecting this one. So it starts the electric fans and now the electrostatic precipitator. Which is still off, should be off now. Yeah, let's do it. Now we can disconnect the glow plug. As you can see, this thing is hot enough. Insert this thing. And wait for smoke coming out. Shouldn't take too long. This method starts extremely quickly. So then you're now filling it with, with combustible gases, and then whenever you reverse the flow, The upper part will, will ignite uh, fairly quickly. Oh, it's already coming. Out. It's becoming thicker now. There you go. Flammable gas. This is turning, but it's still off. 
All right, that's great. Now we can put it out. Close it off. Put on the lid. Raw gas is coming out now. Let's see how. Oh, look at it, it's already burning. But it's a little diluted still. So look how clean it is. This fan is now blowing 12 volts. In it. Let's make it on 24 volts. And 24 volt it is. Yeah, it needs some time. The flame is not catching up with the pipe yet, which means it is uh, still diluted. Oh, there you go. And when it's up to temperature, the gas, not up to temperature yet, the gas is the most filthy, of course. So let's check out what the mist eliminator does. It'll be nice. Give me one moment to switch uh, to only the mist eliminator in comparison to this. Then we close it now. One moment. Mist eliminator is on. The fog is less. And you can see the color with the eye is a little less as well. And that's good to know. Let's switch to the charcoal filter. Mist eliminator and charcoal filter is on. Oh, almost no. Oh, there you go. There's some foggy stuff coming out. But it's way cleaner because of the the capturing capability of the little droplets in that atmospheric uh, in in the gas. It's all about getting rid of these little droplets in the end. Oh, that's another stage, another thing which is right, pretty good. From the eye it's already purplish blue, which suggests there is just a little, let's close it. Oh. There's a little foggy stuff still inside, you see that? So let's close it again and put the electrostatic precipitator in series again. We'll be back. Alright, we're back. Electrostatic filter is also in the... And as you can see we have the same, about the same quality as only with the charcoal filter. And now we put the electrostatic precipitator on. And then you can see... Wait a second. I put the electric precipitator on an angle. Yeah, I just loosened it up with this thing. And now you can see there's some stuff in there. Now I'm putting it on. And off you go. No twinkly thingies anymore. So that's how the filter works. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe and share. Keep your flame blue.